is Dave Edo. I'm currently the CEO of, of Naturally Splendid Enterprises. I come from a long lineage of food processing, actually. For the past 30 years, I've invested a lot of my time coming up to the ranks in the food processing sector, primarily in Vancouver. I've been affiliated with companies like Robin Hood Multi Foods and ran a number of manufacturing plants in Canada and the U.S. I've also been part of uh, premium brands and the uh, bread garden uh, facilities. I actually helped them maneuver the bread garden branding to a more separate entity where it was a for-profit center from the cafes that we currently had before. I was also CEO of the BC Dairy Association for four and a half years and learned how to work with dairy farmers, which I can tell you was a very interesting experience. And now I find myself as of December the 5th of 2016 being here at Natchez Splendid. I would have to say that Naturally Splendid is such a fascinating organization. It is so vertically integrated with food and biotechnology, which is what really attracted me to come to spend time at Naturally Splendid. I think it's really great that Naturally Splendid has not only access to commodity products such as hemp and flax and moringa and other commodities that are welcome around the world, but they have a technology called Hemp Omega and a higher hemp protein isolate, which is one of the features of our properties that we will be leveraging this coming year. Uh, what makes us really unique, I think, to a lot of other companies is that we're not just a one-pony show. We have six major components to our business. Yes, they are very diverse, and part of my challenge working with the Natural Splendid team is how we can focus all those different elements to provide our customers with a vertically integrated value proposition. We're not looking for customers who just simply want to buy one product, one component of our business. We're trying to integrate all parts of our business. So let's just say, for example, we have a customer who wants to buy Hemp Omega and incorporate it into a product that they want to package. We can do both of those now with our facility. We could be a supplier, we could be a co-packer, and then if they need to supply it to a market access, say South Korea, Japan, Thailand, we'll have those leverages as well to pursue and to secure that customer's relationship. We are not a one-trick pony. These last six weeks have been incredibly informative for me. We've developed our strategic plan. We've come up with a budget that I think is very workable, but also very aggressive. And we're starting to make those associations in areas like business to business, ingredient suppliers, which we didn't have before. <laughs> Vancouver, BC, Canada have wonderful resources. Our customers, foreign and abroad, love Canadian product. With that vertical integration that we have in our business, we're going to be able to supply them for years to come.